Hi everyone, my name is Jen Hans and I'm from University of Malaya, Malaysia. Today, I would like to present my paper, The Oracle, Deep Learning Based Classification of Oral Lesions with Mouth Lemat Guidance for Early Detection of Oral Cancer. Oral cancer is one of the most common malignant tumors with high risk in low and middle income countries. Is often preceded by lesion termed as oral potentially malignant disorder or PMDs, which are easily visible for early detection without the need of spatial instruments as shown in these two images. However, due to the limited uh, effort towards screening, most patients affected by oral cancer are diagnosed at advanced stage. Therefore, the early detection of oral cancer is essential for better survival. Artificial intelligence has been adopted in various domains. Deep learning has made a remarkable progress in the medical field to perform a clinical diagnosis, for example, detecting the pneumonia from a chest x-ray as shown in this figure. Our aim is to propose a novel deep learning framework named the Oracle to classify all lesions using photographic image. As shown in this figure one, our model tag or image as an input detect the location of the mouse and use it as guidance to improve the classification accuracy of the model. The contribution are twofold. To the best of our knowledge, we are the first to develop mouse lemma detection model that can detect the location of the mouse from the oral image. Assisting facial lemma models do not work on oral image, which do not consist of the entire human face. Second, we propose a novel oral lesions a classification framework with mouth lemma guidance, named the oracle for oral detection of oral cancer. Experiments show that the performance of the classification model improves significantly with a mouth lemma guidance. Figure two shows the proposed architecture. Our network consists of two components. First is the mouth lemma model. Second is the classification uh, module, where this uh, module fit in the oral image using a uh, ResNet 101 to obtain a fixed size uh, feature vector and fills the two features from classification and also mouth lemma model to generate the final classification result. The proposed mouth lemma detection modules leverage the benefit of deep CNN to extract the image feature and predict the mouth lemma as shown in this figure three. In this case, we are using mo one v 2 as, uh, as the feature extractor. Technically, the or image I is fed into the deep CNN to actually the features. The features are then encoded by two fully connected layers, followed by a softmax layer to output the numbers, the n number of mouth landmarks, m. The formula can be represented as is this equation one. The mouth lemma detection model is trained to minimize the mean square error loss as shown in equation two where YM is the ground truth of the lemma, that is the number of the mouth lemma key point. For classification module, ResNet 101 is used as the feature extraction network to obtain the fixed size feature vector. This feature vector is fused with the mouth lemma key point features and classified the image into four different refer decision class. There are no refer needed, refer cancer high risk OPMD, refer low list OPMD, refer for other regions. The formula can be represented as in this equation tree where the FM is the mouth lemma feature, FO is the oral image feature. Two features are fused together through concatenation as a guidance to the classification model. Both feature vectors are Process through a last fully connected layer followed by a soft layer to output the predicted refer decisions R. The model is trained to minimize the cross entropy loss as equation four, where the YR represents the ground truth 
uh, refer decision and C is the number of refer decision class. There's no public available data set for training our proposed mouth lemma detection model. Therefore, we make use of the existing facial lemma data set, augmented the data to form our own data sets for training and evaluations. The original image are shown in this picture with a CCX point on the faces. We combine all the face to form a total number of 200,000 images for training, validation, and testing. We pre-process all the images to extract only the mouth lesions and the 20 mouth lemma key point for training. To train and evaluate our uh, oral lesion classification models, we build our own annotation tools and collect the uh, annotation from clinical experts from across the world. Each image was annotated by ones to seven expert clinicians to produce the refer decision types, the lesion, the bowling box, and etc. as shown in this uh, video. In this work, we only use the refer decision label as our classification objective. The data set was split into training, testing, and validation, and the number of images are shown in this table one. We evaluate the mouth landmark performance between a different deep CNN model, mobile v 2 mobile v 3 REST 50, and REST 101, and a custom network. This model will evaluate using a MSE in 12 and 20 lemma settings. As shown in table two, ResNet 50 and MobileNet V2 achieve a lowest MSE in both 20 lemma and 12 lemma uh, setting. In table three, we compare the, the performance in terms of the uh, inference speed, the model size and number of parameter. And MobileNet V2 achieve a lowest uh, number of parameter, smaller model size and faster inference time that uh, is suitable for us to implement in the mobile apps. Therefore, it was chosen as the deep CNN for our proposed mouth lemma model. The qualitative results are shown in this figure four that our proposed mouth lemma model can generate the correct mouth lemma in different angles of the mouth for oral image. To show the efficacy of our proposed mouth lemma guidance, we presented the qualitative result of the classification model with or without the mouth lemma guidance in table four and table five. In table four, it showed that the classification result without the mouth lemma guidance can achieve a precision of 58, a recall of 56, and a F1 score of 56.5%. In table five, the classification result with a mouth lemma guidance can achieve a precision of 61.96%, a recall of 61.7%, and an F1 score of 61.68%. With a mouth lemma guidance, the F1 score for each refer decision class in terms of precision and recall will improve significantly. This figure shows the quantitative result from the classification model uh, with a mouth lemma guidance. And the results are consistent with conditions where the image A, B, and C are clearly classified as refer for cancer and high risk or PMD. Con in conclusion, we uh, presented a novel deep learning framework to classify the oral illusion from the photographic image. We developed a mouth landmark detection model that can detect the locations of the mouth from the oral image. And we show that the oral classification accuracy improved with the guidance of the mouth lemma detection model. In future, we plan to improve the model by building a larger data set with a well annotated labels. And we believe our proposed model can greatly contribute to the mega fields and help in the early detection of the oral cancer. Okay, that's all for my presentation. Thanks.